but the uh, like the fluid's still going to be pumped leaking out that way. So you put in another check valve, so that when this is actually the return, that one will open. This one will close. When it's sitting doing nothing, these here will probably be in the closed position. Depends. It doesn't really matter. They're not doing anything at that moment in time. So when you're going forwards, one will be open, one will be closed. When you're going reverse, they basically swap around. Now, you've been an idiot. You've got your tractor out and you've gone cut into your garden. And after about 20 minutes, your engine dies because you forgot to put any petrol in it. So, you have, it's a look too far away to walk to go and get your uh, heavy 20 litre jerry can. So instead you decide to push your tractor back. It's a five minute walk away and you decide to push it. And that's going to be extremely hard because when you're trying to push it, you've got an insane gear ratio here because of your differentials, crown gear and your little output shaft. It's going to want, it's going to turn this, um, this motor here, which has to force all the fluid around all these galleries and then turn this, which makes life very hard. So the way to make it a lot easier is to have a dump valve, which is this little doohickey, although very badly drawn. Um, what we'd have is some plates or some little pins or whatever which will be connected to some sort of lever, trigger, button or anything on your transmission. And when you push on that little lever, what it does is it pushes both of those little ball valves in and automatically bypasses this thing and any other gallery. So when you start pushing, fluid is going to be uh, sucked up, well it won't even be sucked up through this, it'll actually suck in through one of these and piss out through the other one. Uh, it can suck in the air and then push air back out. That's, it can. It will turn into an air pump even if it hasn't. If it hasn't got any fluid, it's like a uh, compressor. You put water in a compressor, it'll still pump it, but it'll work harder. You can just pump. It will just pump the air which is in there if your fluid air level isn't as high. And when you start the tractor up again, you've turned your dump valve off. It will just automatically bleed that air out. It's turning so quickly you wouldn't even notice it. You put your foot on the pedal within the first half within the first second of your foot being on that pedal there is no air left in this system it's turning so quickly so that's really about how it works now what happens when your system's fucked if, if you've got on your tractor next day of using it and it's just suddenly not working check your dump valve if anyone else has been around your tractor and pulled the dump valve if they wanted to move it if you're not the only one who uses it check that if you're the only one who uses it still check it if you've forgotten or you've caught it by accident um, which I have done before in fact I've completely bent the little trigger for the dump valve on the one that works I slammed a trailer into it whoops um, it still works but you just get an, an annoying noise because it rubs on the fan on the top of the transmission um, check that your belt hasn't fallen off that your pet that the system that connects your controls for the transmission to the transmission are actually still working because sometimes you can have a little pin like this a little split pin, roll pin, anything like that which will connect your linkages to the transmission and if they've worn out and chances are if they've had no grease on it the shaft would actually kind of I'll draw it quick this is your shaft and you have like a worn bit like that and that there is where it actually connects to your transmission and it's worn away and you've got a little pin which goes through the top to stop it from falling out and when that little pin wears out and fucks off could fall out anywhere that's not going to fall out straight away because of rust dirt and the fact that it's worn itself together when you get off of your tractor that little bit of movement all of a sudden from maybe the how the, I'm not trying to call you fat but the chances are these little tractors you put I don't know Ten stone of somebody's weight on it, and it's going to co might cause enough movement for that shaft to suddenly drop out. And hey presto, your controls aren't actually controlling the transmission anymore. Um, another thing which can kill these transmissions is people being idiots and using the reverse as brakes for doing burnouts, um, wheeling them. Because if you're going fast enough in reverse, then you slam it into forwards by changing the pedals quick enough, it will wheelie them. Don't try it, but it because it will transmit bust your transmission what it can do the amount of pressure in here is so hard and it can't move it, this here can't move up so what it'll do is I'll move this whole piece here down and it'll jam it straight into this gasket and will destroy it 
rip it to pieces. It might still work after, but it might be craptastic. Uh, the great thing about these is, it won't actually... You can't destroy these by simply running them without oil. If you run it without oil, it just won't work. The only thing that happens is this top shaft might just spin and spin and spin. And that's not going to really cause too much wear. The only way it would cause wear if it was running for some stupid amount of time. I'm talking days and days and days without the smallest amount of oil in there. Um, so it's, pretty, it's easy to say that one of these transmissions would last a very long, um, which kind of has its own safeguard. If you put low, if it has low oil, you can't destroy it because it won't work. Uh, you could probably also strip off the little gears on your output shaft. That would cause you problems. Differentials, as usual, will cause problems. Uh, what else? Is it? Maybe these little pieces here, if you was to try and do burnouts and things, those check valves, uh, not the check valves, sorry, these uh, dump valves aren't actually like they slip it in from behind and it just cannot come out that way. What is they have a small steel housing with a spring behind it which pushes it against the housing they can e they either screw in or press fit and a sudden amount of hydraulic pressure behind there could push it out or bugger it cause it to leak these gaskets here themselves just wearing out but by the fact that there is hydraulic pressure in there it, they're pretty much lubricated for life there isn't really any way that they can run out of lubrication really about it can't understand why any of these springs would snap but if you was to snap every single one of those springs which is under there which I couldn't see happening but it could be possible maybe by over revving could uh, cause some problems and uh, that will cause it to not drive at all ever because all of those pistons are now stuck at the bottom so they're not going to pump no fluid that's it I probably made this video too long and have to make it a two part I'm afraid folks hope you learned something try not to destroy one of these First rule when you're working on them, or if you've got a problem with one, check everything you possibly can on the outside before you determine there's a problem on the inside. If it turns to be that it's low fluid and then you take it apart to find nothing on, wrong on the inside, you've got the work of having to put that whole transmission back in after you have put a new bead of silicon around it. And that's just not fun. So, make sure you've checked all the stupid little things like that, otherwise you'll be kicking your own ass. Uh, if you do determine there's a problem on the inside, take it out, pressure wash it, or use brake cleaner, wash anything, any detergent, anything, scrub the outside of it, get any dirt of it, dirt on there off, before you open it up, any uh, rule of thumb, you want to keep the inside clean, even if you're, you, I don't know, run it without a cap, which will, can, won't destroy these, but it will block up this, uh, filter and cause it not to want to work, um, but, uh, what was it? I can forgotten, you know. Uh, yeah. Because if you find out, if you could open it up, everything inside is absolutely spotlessly clean on one of these, even if the fluid's filthy. And the smallest amount of dirt in there, this thing here, will protect the inside workings, but maybe a bit of grit or a stone, perhaps getting in there. If that was to get stuck in your differential, it could fuck something up. If it gets stuck in any of the little gallery galleries on any of these two parts of the system, it will destroy these gaskets. It's like, it's like having sandpaper in your engine oil. I'm not sandpaper. Um, putting sand in your engine oil. It's going to fuck something up. So, keep it clean. Keep your fluid up. And it should, you last, should last you for life. As long as you don't do anything stupid with it. So, good luck. If you do have a problem with it, I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys later.